In this tutorial in Microsoft Excel, I'd like to show you how to improve the readability of spreadsheets that you print, especially when you have more than one page going to your printer. Let me show you a common issue. I'm going to click here on the Print Preview button at the bottom, and it will give me a, uh, a look at what the document will look like. If I drag over to the left, I see on page one I have the columns and then I have the states to which the data is linked, but when I click over to uh, page 2, I do not have the information, so I don't know what's the referent for each of these rows. It's really not all that useful. Let me show you a way to change that. We'll click back on our main sheet, and then I'll go to the Page Layout tab, and we have an area here on page setup we're going to work with for a moment called print titles. What it gives me is several key options I need to remember. The first option is rows to repeat at the top. In this case I'm going to click in the bar and I can click on the um, uh, up arrow and it will say what row should I repeat. So I'm going to simply click here on on the left side my mouse will turn into a right arrow and that was dollar sign one to dollar sign one that row and now I have that taken care of so it will repeat this row at the top of every page now I also need to do the column so I'll click down here to my columns and I can click on my up arrow if I want to and click here at a at the a above one and it says dollar sign a colon dollar sign a and then I can click uh, and close that and now it will repeat that row and that column on every page let's see what happens I'll click to print preview and when I look here I have on page one I have my my states on the left my months at the top I go to page two I have my states on the left, my months on the top. Let me give you another option that you have here in, in print titles, which is kind of useful. We'll click here. We also can choose header footer. So either on the header or footer, I can add other kinds of information. Let me take the footer first. Let's say I want a page number at the bottom in the margin. I click down here and I can say page one of question mark and I can put that in and when I print preview that again now it says page one of two if I click to the second page it's page two of two so that's nice it shows me where I am in my documents we'll back out of that again let me give you another option and when I do my print error titles I can go into my margin settings I could also just click uh, up here for other options but uh, I can change the setting of the margins I can also center on the page horizontally that will give it equal right and left margins let me do that and click on print preview now we don't see much of a change on page one but if I click to page two now I see my column is centered I may or may not want it to look this way but if you do want to center your print area between the right and left margins, that's a very easy way to do that. I'm also going to go one more time to my <clears throat> print titles and go back to the header. I've done a footer. Let's do a custom header because otherwise my options are basically the same as what I've had before. It can say page one. It can give me the name of the document. I can have a page and a date. I can have my initials. Uh, let's do a, a custom header. Okay, in the custom header, you have three sections, left, center, and right. What some people like to do, and I find this useful, I'll click on the center section, and then I'll type uh, the name of the entire document. Uh, this is a widget sales uh, by state uh, 2018. Now the other thing I can do is I can highlight the text, 
click on the alpha tab here and I can change the font. So I could make this uh, Aris bold. I can kick it up to font size 14 if I want to uh, or even bigger and I can click on OK. Now my center is bold. On my left section uh, I can type in something else or I can put uh, perhaps I can put the time in the current time I can put the date in that inserts the date on the right section I can put in uh, any of these options here the date the time the number of pages the page number um, the name of the sheet let's put that in and all that's automated I click on OK and now here is a miniature of what it will look like. I did not format either of these with larger fonts or different fonts. I'll just click on OK. And let's see what this looks like when I do my print preview. Um, I will click on this icon here. And here is a picture of my sales. It has the date. It has the, the, the sheet number. And on both pages so yeah and you can do right and left and change it any any kind of way you want to I'll click back to the normal view go back to file print print uh, and we get to see it on the larger screen here so this is an example of some of the ways in which you can customize the output so that you're printing uh, is readable and helps convey the information in your workbooks in Microsoft Excel.